G'day ladies and gentlemen, Pointed here and welcome back to part of my Buildcraft review. In the last episodes, obviously if you can recall, it's just been a while since I've the last done one, and that is I've pretty much covered all the pipes, uh, like the pump, the mining well, and of course the daddy of all mining, the quarry. So in this one, what I'm going to be covering is, as you can see right in front of me, is the refinery. Yes. In a basic nutshell, what the refinery does, you can get a fuel source like this oil and it gets pumped through into the refinery and then gets pumped out of the refinery as a fuel so yeah that's basically what the refinery does it converts oil into fuel and of course I do have another setup over there you'll probably notice the green in there well that's actually not from Billcraft per se but it is actually from forestry but I've just set it up just so you can have a bit of a quick look at how that actually works as well but it's the exact same principle but the first thing you want to do is obviously is build the uh, the uh, refinery. So let's have a quick look at how you actually craft this thing. First thing you want to do is create yourself a couple of redstone torches, just like that. And next thing you want to do is craft yourself three, if I can get it right, uh, tanks. And all you do with them is you simply get a bunch of the glass blocks and put them around like this, in like you're making a uh, chest, which I'll keep mucking that up, so I'm doing really good here. There we go, three of each, because you need three tanks. Boom, beautiful. And now what you need to make is a diamond gear. So I'll quickly show you how you craft gears, in case anyone can't remember, you just, for the wooden gear, you just get th uh, four sticks. And then for the for the uh, stone gear, you get four cobblestone with the, with the wooden gear in the middle. And it just progresses up, so you put the, the earlier version in the middle, and then you just add whatever goes around it. So there's the iron gear, iron around the middle of, and the uh, stone gear in the middle, iron in the middle, gold around the side gives you the gold, and of course, diamond around the sides of a gold gear gives you the diamond gear. Cool. So now we've got all the parts we need. These are the components needed. All you simply do is put the gold gear in the bottom just there, all the tanks around, and redstone torches, and there is your refinery. Very cool. All right, I just wanted to show you how you craft it because I've already got a place, so I don't need to worry about it. So the first thing you want to try and do is once you uh, get this basic setup done, again, you'd pump this, The you can get the oil in there by simply uh, finding something like that or <laughs> an even bigger one there, whatever you want to use. So you can pump it in or again, you can use buckets of oil and you can just fill it up, the tanks up with buckets of oil depending on how you want to do it. But uh, yeah, there is when you first start up, you'd want to place uh, at least an engine behind. In this case, you'd probably just start with a, just a normal combustion because it is the most powerful engine. And then you can just uh, place in some oil. That'll give you some basic fuel to start with. And now we can start it up. So that's just pet. Now that is giving power into the refinery. But we need to add some uh, oil into this. So beat up this thing. This redstone engine, as you can see, now the oil is being pumped into the refinery. And now you can see on the front here how we now have some green, or these, these things on the front, these indicators, actually show how well the um, refinery is actually operating at the moment. As you can see, it's flicking between red and blue. So yeah, it's not doing that well at the moment. It's not getting enough power to be able to operate at you know, reasonable capacity. But it doesn't matter at the moment, because initially when you start off, you know, that, this engine is going to be more than adequate to try and get your reasonable amount of uh, of the, uh, as you can see here, which is actually now the fuel, as you can see, because the way this thing actually works is when the oil comes into it, you've got these two slots at the back here and the one at the front. Well, the way it actually works is, if I actually turn, oh, if I turn that off, that's gonna stop the uh, that engine from working. But basically what will happen is the back fills up with oil as it's done, and the front here will actually fill up with oil until it is pumped out of the side. But um, yeah, so that's the basic principle principles of what it is, but there's also a, a has a, a uh, try again, the refinery has its own GUI. What you can actually do is, um, because these two, well, he's got three little slots here, if you get like a bucket of, an oil bucket and place there, you don't lose the contents of the uh, bucket, but basically what it is indicating is if you put oil on these sides, then what goes, then they'll be like showing you what will be converted into fuel. So you've got oil converting into fuel. So, and also, it's pretty good to be able to do that because sometimes you get a bit of a mix-up with the uh, with the um, fuel sources, and they can be placed go in the wrong spots. And then you, the only way to then fix the problem is to quite literally break the item off and then replace it again. 
So yeah, you, so it's probably not a bad idea to do that. And if you want to clear that off, just click on the sides one, on the ones on the sides, and that'll clear it off, as you saw just then. Just click, click, and it clears that inventory, or the GUI. And so yeah, that is the basic principles of how this thing works. Now I do have this have it running reasonably as well. But one thing you might want to actually do to make it run more optimally, optimally, is as you can see, it's flicking between red and you know, red and blue, and it's not very optimal in, in performance. What you probably want to do is you want to break that off. And as you can see, I have three combustion engines, which have got a fuel source in them and water, so they don't blow up. And they connect; they are connected to conductive pipes. Well, if I actually connect some conductive pipes, this, as you can see, goes in the back of it. And now, if I power that up, look at this. Got the uh, energy going through it. And look at this. Now, these indicators on the refinery are green. They're a nice solid green. And you can see we're getting a nice constant flow of fuel coming out of the system, as well as the oil in going into it as well. So I can turn it off for now because these pipes here, you can see, are reasonably full. And a fair amount has come out of there. So yeah, that is that would be the optimal, um, a far more optimal setup to actually power the uh, refinery, and it'll be a, and you'll get a lot more fuel a lot quicker. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is a basic rundown of how the refinery is crafted and what it will do. So basics in a nutshell, as I'll just go over it again, you can get your uh, fuel source goes into the refinery and it'll be refined into well another kind of fuel source, which would be a lot more efficient and it will last a lot longer. So yeah, that's basically what that one is. So I'll just leave that running for a bit because we'll come over to this one here because this one here is the exact same setup. I'll even just power this one up so it's running. And so this refinery, as you can see, rather than having fuel, we actually have what is called biomass. Now this is actually from forestry. And to create biomass, you simply create yourself a fermenter, give it a water source, some saplings and some fertilizer, and as you can see, that is creating some biomass, and then you can pipe that out of the out of the uh, fertilizer, or out of the fermenter, I should say, into a tank, and gives you the biomass. So then you can just power all this stuff up, and as you can see, we have some on the front here, and this is called biofuel. So just a different uh, source of um, fuel you can have for this uh, that you can that you can pump through the refinery. And works just as well and you can see it's a totally different color it goes from green to orange whereas the other one is obviously going from black to yellow but uh, yeah it's a more economically or economically or eco-friendly fuel source because you can just go from essentially from water and fertilizer and saplings can give you the fuel and then you can you can convert that into a more uh, user-friendly fuel the being the biofuel there in the orange so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is a look at the uh, at the refinery. It is a very cool item in Billcraft, so it's definitely worth checking out if you get the uh, if you are using it. It's definitely worthwhile setting up a system, so you can convert your oil, or if you have forestry, you can convert your uh, biofuel into bio, uh, so biomass into biofuel. But uh, yeah, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is as I said a rundown. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff as well. And until next time, keep cool, keep safe, and I'll catch you around. Goodbye.